Hello, friends! Welcome back to my channel. We're here and we're doing another cooking video. All right, you requested it. I asked on Twitter, should I play video games or should I do a cooking stream? And I was shocked how close the results were. I think it was 31% for Smash Brothers and 31% for Mario Kart and then 39% for a cooking stream. So here I am, hey! You guys all wanted me to make homemade pizza. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? This is basically gonna be like a beginner's guide to cooking pizza, to making pizza. It's super easy, super simple. Hi guys, all right, quick shout out to everyone who's here. Electric Wizard, Just Jonah, Back Fandango, Serenity, Xavier, The Night Howler, Deathwater, Edward Sanchez, Eclipse, John Richson, Mind Pig, Spartan Undead, The Caluminati, Lucio, hello! Uh, JRM Media, JS Productions, GS Productions, I can read, Jeremy Coleman, and Andrew Thomas, hello! And Oliver, hello! Thank you, you like my, you like my, my, <laughs> my sweater? Literally, the best thing about quarantine, which there are very few things that are good about it, but very few, I mean, the, the one thing that is good is that I can just wear sweatpants and sweatshirts all day every day. I don't have to wear real clothes. Hey, what's up, Ralph and Darius and Clockwork and Michelle? Hello and Keel, hello. Or Kyle, sorry, Kyle. Am I using onion and black olive for your pizza? Well, you got one of those things right. Um, hey, hey, Maria, King, Piper. <laughs> Hello, King Pookie Nation. Good to see you guys back. Um, I hope I didn't freak you out. I'm sure a lot of you were like, she's not gonna stream today? I am, I'm here, I'm streaming. Um, yeah, we're gonna make pizza. So, <laughs> I need to wash this cup, cause I, actually, wait. I think I, hold on, hold on. I think I have another sort of measuring cup. I do. Thanks, mom. She bought me these measuring cups that like pop out, which is pretty cool. So I'll be using these and then I don't have to wash a bowl. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, okay, so like I mentioned earlier, this is literally a beginner's guide to pizza making. This is the easiest pizza that you could possibly make. I need a spoon. I'm not prepared. <laughs> should be ready. You love pizza? Awesome! Awesome! Ew, no pineapple on pizza. No way. <laughs> I can do no bake pizza, which means without oven. Oh, pizza sounds good. So good. I could eat pizza every day. Me too. I love pizza. Uh, I'm about to watch Onward. Sorry! Go watch Onward. I bet it's really good. I still haven't seen it yet, but I bet it's awesome. Okay, so um, easiest pizza recipe in the world. I have one of these, which if you can see, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Fleischmann? Fle F Fleischmann. I'm going to go with Fleischmann. I don't know why I sound Russian when I say it, because um, it definitely sounds more German. But yeah, Fleischmann. Also, why are German people making pizza crust? I don't know. I don't care. It's good. I made it before, and I've used this before, and it usually turns out pretty good. Okay. Hey, Francisco! Optinon! Michelle, hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay, <laughs> with the music you played, I feel like this is gonna be the most epic pizza you've ever made. Maybe, maybe it will be. Um, oh my gosh, I nearly just had a heart attack because Back Fandango wrote cheese and I literally thought to myself, oh my gosh, I don't have any cheese. But I do, I do, but that scared me for a hot second. Um, Ew, gross, get out of here, King Pookie Nation. Deep dish pizza is not the best pizza. No way. Okay, anyway, this has a recipe on the back. I'm gonna follow it, okay? It says 30 minute pizza. Makes one regular 12 inch crust or two thin crusts. I'm basically gonna make one giant crust. Hey, Verso, welcome. Um, so this will be pretty easy. So preheat the oven to 425. Can do 425. There we go. 
<laughs> Eclipse is saying to each their own, but I personally really like pineapple on pizza. Uh, no, I'll show you guys what the toppings are later when I'm done. Okay, <laughs> I gotta make this, this is gonna take a while, I think, because I'm so slow at doing this and reading your comments. My favorite pizza is pepperoni, wait, I don't know, uh, black olives for sure. Hey, Caleb. Okay, so combine one cup of flour, the yeast, sugar, salt, and a large bowl. Okay, I can do that. One cup of flour. How do I know which is which? Okay. These look like little baby toys. <laughs> and they just pop out. Isn't that cool? Hi, Jack! Jack Cutler's here! Hello! Nice kitchen. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I tried to clean it a little bit for you guys. Mm. Okay. All right, one cup of flour into the bowl. I'm making a mess already. Every time. Hey, Izzy, hello, welcome. And Mega. <laughs> um, oh, interesting, Michelle's asking the serious, hard-hitting questions here. But like the real question is pyology, mod, or blaze pizza. So for those of you who don't live, I don't know where these three are. I mean, I know that she and I both live in California and we have those three pizza chains. It's kind of like a make your own pizza place. I prefer blaze pizza, but only if I'm going there to eat it. I don't like to take blaze on the road. <laughs> I seriously need to get those measuring cups. Yeah, I think, I don't know where my mom found them, but they're made by Progressive. And they're just like pop out measuring cups. So they lie flat in your drawers. Isn't that cool? You just pop them out. All right. So now I'm going to add, trying to make sure I don't like tear the recipe. Um, okay, it says undissolved yeast. So you just throw it on in here, undissolved. There we go. Barton is saying, Pyology and Blaze are so good. Uh, TV and Film Kid, hi! And Real Court, Water Bowl, Hands and Patience. No kidding, no kidding. Um, oh, a lot of people are liking Blaze pizza. Do I like pizza with breadsticks? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I've added the flour, which was, it just said one cup of flour to start, and it wants me to add more flour later. And then, Okay, so now I have to add sugar. One and a half teaspoons of sugar. That feels like a lot of sugar. Um, one and a half teaspoon. That's a teaspoon. Yeah. All right. Maybe I'll just do one teaspoon of sugar because that seems like a lot of sugar. I'll just do one. One teaspoon. We all saw how my bread turned out. And it was... It was um, too sugary, too sweet. I don't want sweet pizza crust. All right, so we'll do one teaspoon of sugar. <laughs> thanks, thanks, you guys like my measuring cups. I like pizza with salad and breadsticks, me too. I, I'm such a snob though when it comes to pizza. It has to be very saucy or well, I still do it anyway. I need a side of sauce with my pizza so I can dip. I love dipping. Okay. Um, three fourths teaspoon of salt. Three fourths and salt. I'm just gonna do it over my sink so I don't end up getting the extra since I tend to pour vigorously. Yay, okay. Salt. Now, um, okay, so now add water and oil. So it wants me to put two thirds cup of really warm water. So I have to find two thirds. I don't know if these are gonna be two thirds. Okay, that's fine. I have a one third, so I'll just do two of these. And I have hot water. I'm gonna wait for that to get really hot though. <laughs> Sorry, Backbandago, I realized I was like, here, I'm doing the thing, and then you miss it. 
Um, ooh, Joe Hill likes dipping his pizza in ranch. That's good too, but I like marinara sauce all the way. Okay, here's one third cup of water. Uh, two thirds <laughs> cup of water. <laughs> uh, wait, what's happening? Hold on, I missed something. Oh yeah, Pizza Planet, like Toy Story Land. Yeah, they do have that. I believe that they do. Okay, and then oil, three tablespoons of oil. Shoot, the tablespoon is the one thing I wait. Hang on, it might be clean. Yeah, it is. Okay, awesome. So then three tablespoons of oil, and I like to use olive oil, because olive oil is the best oil. I thought the pizza was already in the small pouch. Could you imagine it'd be the world's tiniest little pizza? It'd be adorable. I'm all about it. Oh, you made pizza tonight for dinner? That's awesome. Okay, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Three tablespoons of oil. One, two, three. Okay, I need to clear some space here because we're about to get really messy. Making some room for all of this. Ah! <laughs> I just got my hand soaking wet. All right. Cool. Okay, so now it just says gradually add enough remaining flour until soft dough ball is formed. So I'm going to take off my jewelry. Um, have I ever heard of Mod Pizza? Yes, I have been to Mod Pizza. <laughs> um, I have been to Mod Pizza. Okay, so I want you guys to be able to see this, but it's kind of, a, I made a mess. I made a mess. So, oh, geez. There you go. Okay, so we have, here it is. So I'm just going to kind of mix it up a little bit uh, because then I'm going to get in there with my hands and start basically forming the dough. Gonna move that but it seems like we we're gonna need to definitely add some more flour okay. yeah for sure we need some more flour let's try that probably gonna need more flour than that and also like maybe I shouldn't be using like a really weak plastic spoon. Gonna need more flour. It's tough to do, but I can just tell we're gonna need more. All right, well, let me mix it up real quick for you. Uh, and I can read some comments. I'm making dinner too, says Eclipse, yay! Have I ever been to Shakey's? Yes, I have been to Shakey's. Um, I'm not the biggest fan, or you know what? That's not fair to say, because I haven't been in years. I went when I first moved to LA. Okay, this is starting to get doughier. So let's see. The most generic pizza places is Little Caesars. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I really like that. Yeah, I usually use a wooden spoon too, but my wooden spoon is dirty right now, so I'm going very gently because eventually I'm going to use my hands. Hi, what's up? Bix. Bixie or Bix? Hello and welcome to your first ever Katie live stream. Okay, this is starting to become more like, more doughy. It also smells like pizza dough and you guys know that pizza dough smell is so good. Yeah, I haven't been to Shakey's in a long time. Um, now, you guys all know I'm a Domino's girl. If I'm gonna order pizza, 
that isn't like a local pizzeria, I'm going to go with Domino's, which I'm so bummed. Do you remember how I was like, hey guys, um, Domino's is giving 50% off all their pizzas and then they gave me a coupon for a free pizza to use the following week. I forgot. I had a free pizza just sitting there. I did nothing with it. Isn't that the worst? Okay, I think we're, we're getting there. No wonder the thing says like between one and a third cup to two and a fourth cup. Now I think I need to start getting in here with my hands, guys. So let me wash them. Oh, Michelle's saying she loves Domino's and Night Howler. Domino's is your go-to. Yeah, there's something just so delicious about Domino's. So good. <laughs> Domino's is the best. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put this on my cutting board here. I know I'm going to have to add more flour because this is definitely a little too sticky still. Do I like round table pizza? I haven't been to round table pizza. Oh, that's very sticky. It's very sticky. <laughs> well, hey, I'm glad you guys all agree with me that Domino's is where it's at. Love me some dominoes. Okay. Um, this is very, very sticky. I'm trying to only use one hand so I can use the other hand to get more flour if I need it. But I got a lot of flour on this cutting board right now. Gosh, guys, I used to make this pizza dough all the time, like years ago. And I haven't made it in so long. Verso saying, I don't usually go to pizza chain, chain pizza places. I wouldn't either, but sometimes you just don't have a choice. I don't think LA has the best pizza, although there's one pizza place in LA I really like, but you know, you can't get it all the time. But yeah, I, I, I understand. All right, we're almost, we're almost there. It's sticky. <laughs> That should be enough, I'm hoping. In Australia, is you only have Domino's or Pizza Hut. Interesting. Oh gosh, do I have a favorite kid's pizza place? I don't know what John's Incredible is. I've never heard of that. But we had Peter Piper pizza growing up, which was awesome. I loved Peter Piper pizza. All right. Um, Hi, Jabril, welcome, we're making pizza. Making pizza on this Friday night. You guys have any good weekend plans? Any, any weekend plans happening? Ooh, if I ever find myself in London, there's a pizza place called Pizza Pilgrims. Best pizza you've ever had? Whoa, that's saying a lot. Especially cause, um, I don't know if you've been to Italy, but that's the best pizza I've ever had. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, this is difficult. This is what my, my beer bread did not require. Oh, Peter Pepper Pizza rocked back in the day. Yeah, I liked all their games better than Chuck E. Cheese. I feel like they had better games. All right, we're finally starting to get to a better consistency. I feel like it's still really sticky, but I'm working on it, working on it. It's like an indoor fun park with rides and arcade games. Wow, that sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely amazing. I'm like all about that. I want to try those Papa John's Papadillas. What's that? Is it like a pizza quesadilla? I've never heard of it. Plus I'm watching Onward or Star Wars night tonight too. Awesome. It says Sting. Weekend plans, wake up, eat my quarantine snacks, play Animal Crossing, sleep, repeat. No kidding. Real court is saying, all under control. 
Keep going. Pizza and smile. Yep. Well, this dough is starting to feel like it's getting to the point where maybe I can try to form it into an actual pizza. I wonder how big it's going to be though. I mean, you can, you can make it pretty thin because then it gets all crispy. I like crispy crust. Reminds me of Italy. Wish Pietro was here. He could judge my pizza making skills. <laughs> my pizza cheating. It's like a sandwich made if a folded, oh, I see, okay. So it's kind of like a calzone then. I'm trying to see if I'm supposed to like put anything. Mm. Greased pizza pan, okay. So I need to make sure that I grease the pan. Animal Crossing and watching anime. Work, play Animal Crossing and Overwatch, YouTube all day, all night. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Um, I'm actually excited because a lot of you know that I play Pathfinder, which is like Dungeons and Dragons. And I'm actually going to be playing in a couple new games next week on the Dat Network on Twitch. So hopefully you guys are following me um, and following the Dat Network on Twitch because then you won't miss it. And I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to see it. Aw, Bruce! Donation dance. Donation dance. Thank you, Bruce. All right, I think this is ready to be put onto cutting board. Uh, sorry to hear that, Kieran. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. Even though I'm gonna touch the dough again, I wanna start out with some clean hands. <laughs> yeah, that Fandango reminding me that it is 2 a.m. in Italy and Pietro is probably very asleep. Very asleep. <laughs> I did hear about the new Law & Order spinoff. Not gonna lie, um, I've thoroughly enjoyed SVU without Stapler, so I'm like, cool, okay, I mean, I'll watch it, but if it doesn't have Marisha, like, we're there for Marisha, obviously. Okay. I'm just trying to make some space here. Some flour. Okay. So I have a cookie sheet. So I'm gonna spray it because it says a greased cookie sheet. I would hate for my pizza to stick after all that hard work and then it just sticks that would that would not be good at all <laughs> um, Ooh, making a power ranger costume we stand olivia benson yes thank you cheers to that with my grape juice youtube just grape juice don't demonetize me <laughs> who's it about it's about stapler which is fine, but you've not seen another human? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. So I have my pizza dough, which is now doughy. And I'm going to try to roll it out. Like I'm not rolling it, but I'm just kind of stretching it with my hands and hoping to transfer it to the cookie sheet and then not have to do it too crazy. Um, ah! Should I try one of those like pizza flips? <laughs> like people usually do. I know she was in, she was in um, Power Rangers, um, but then didn't they fire her? I remember that story. It was such a funny story that she was supposed to be in Power Rangers. I think she was a villain, right? Ooh. This gets really stretchy, but now I'm afraid it's going to break. So, ah. <laughs> ah. Yum, this looks awesome. 
How do I feel about the newer season? I'm loving it. I love the showrunner right now. And yeah, there's some characters that I'm not liking right now. Oh my gosh, you guys want me to flip it? What if I ruin it? It's looking nice. All right. Oh, I already put my hand through it. No, I ruined it. Now I have to start over. It was perfect. You guys made me ruin my pizza. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but I agree, Michelle. Um, some of the past seasons have been like questionable, but then I've really liked this current season. Oh man, I'm never gonna get it that thin again. Professional pizza makers do flip dough. I'm gonna make a square pizza, I think, because unless, well, we're gonna kind of see what this ends up being because, oh, this is so much work. Have I heard about the new MCU schedule? Yes, and Mulan finally has a release date. Oh, now I have to wait until July, but it's like right by my birthday. So I'm really excited about that. Guys, you know I've been like dying to talk about Mulan and how good it is. Ah. Flip it after it's cooked. That sounds dangerous. Okay. And I'm just trying to get this pizza dough to stretch out as much as possible. Square pizza is good. Square pizza is good. Okay, I'm gonna transfer this to the cookie sheet if only I don't rip it. Ah! Okay, I didn't, I didn't rip it. Didn't rip it. Okay. <laughs> Hey, film it, uh, TV and Film Kid, your birthday's in July. When? When in July? Pray tell. I have a magical birthday. Yeah, them releasing Mulan in July is a great birthday present. Um, hi, Serenity. <laughs> I think this pizza is going to be very lopsided, but it's very square and it's thin. It's going to be very thin. July 6th. Oh, we're so close. My birthday is July 11th, 7-11. All right. I'm really trying to make this thing like fit the pan so that I get as maximum pizza crust as possible, which is important. You want as much pizza dough, or as much pizza crust as possible so that you have more pizza. <gasps> Your birthday is Slurpee Day? That's my birthday. Shut up, you have my birthday? I honestly have only met like two people in my whole life that have my birthday. Hello, Gary. What kind of pizza am I making? Um, I will, I will figure out the toppings in a second. Hi, Skyla. How are you? Thanks for being here. And, and Tails, Tails, hello. I can't believe we have the same birthday. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I get a free Slurpee on my birthday. And one time I went into 7-Eleven, I was like, oh, guys, I have a, I, today's my birthday. Hey, Lancer, what's up? And, um, and they basically were just like, okay, cool, whatever. I was like, oh. They should only give out free Slurpees to people whose birthday it is on 7-Eleven. Just kidding. It's awesome that they give out free pizza. Okay. Whew, guys, that's my pizza dough, <laughs> my pizza crust. I did it. I made it stretch through the whole pan. Are you proud of me? Be proud of me. Play some Beyonce. Krusty Krab pizza. Yeah. Oh, wow. Zeem. It's 1 a.m. and you can't sleep? That's not good. Elementary school pizza. No, it's going to be better than that. Trust me. It's going to be way better than elementary school pizza. Gross. Yep, we all get free Slurpees. 
I know. Hopefully, I won't be in quarantine um, during my birthday. I know a lot of people are spending their birthdays in quarantine, which is so sad. Today is one of my friend's birthdays, and it's so sad that we don't get to spend it with her. But it's fine. Uh, hey! Uh, oh, wait, who just joined? I just saw someone. Jay! Jay Frat! Hello! Yay! I'm so happy you guys are proud of me and my pizza making. <gasps> oh my gosh! Joe Hill! Thank you! Donation dance. I'll dance with the pizza. Donation dance. Donation dance. Thank you so much! Really appreciate it. Um, okay, now we have to focus on toppings. This is important. And I need cheese and sauce. Hang on, hold, hold please. <laughs> I have sauce. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. I forgot something. So my favorite thing about pizza is the fact that you can put anything you want on a pizza. You can put breakfast items on pizza. You can put like you can make any type of pizza you want. You can make a Mexican pizza. You can do anything as long as you've got dough and cheese. That's all you need. So, what do you guys like on your pizza? What do you usually get on your pizza? I'm making some space so I can cut open or cut up some of these things that I have. All right. All right, so um, we need to put sauce down. I left it all behind the camera, which is not helpful if I need to use it. Okay, great, cool, we're on a roll. So, I already had sauce in the fridge open because I had spaghetti not too long ago. So, makes it easy to just use this sauce for this, it's perfect. So, sauce, pizza, just gonna put it in the middle and I'm gonna do that thing that they do <laughs> Wait, but I need to go in like a square motion. <laughs> it's that thing that they do at, at pizza places. When you watch, when you watch them, you know, they use the back of the ladle to, to spread out the sauce. This is very hard to do holding it up. <laughs> All right, you guys are saying, oh, do I make my own pizza sauce? Um, I, I didn't make this pizza sauce, but my family, does make pizza sauce, it does make it um, homemade. But for the sake of not wasting lots of ingredients that are really hard to find these days, a jar of spaghetti sauce is super easy. Ooh, your local shop sells kebabs? What kind of kebabs? Like what kind? Are they chicken, steak? So you can put anything on a pizza and I have actually made lots of different types of pizza with this crust recipe. Um, I have made obviously normal pizza. I've made pesto pizzas. I've made Alfredo pizzas. I've made a Mexican pizza, which was so good. You basically just put the crust down and then I um, cooked some ground beef in taco seasoning. And then once it was all cooked, I put that on the pizza on the bottom and then you add cheese and you can add jalapenos if you want to and make a Mexican pizza. Ew, ketchup on spaghetti? No. <laughs> Gary saying pepperoni. Hey, Red Buick. Yes, welcome to Katie's Pizzeria. I'm making beginner pizza. <laughs> um, oh my God, it's like I'm at Modern Place right now. <laughs> Chris is so funny. How often do I make pizza? Um, I make pizza 
often. I haven't made this crust though in a really long time. I used to make it all the time because it's so easy, but you know, lately I've been buying like Boboli, which is also very good. I like that. So I'll use that at times too. And I also hear if you shop at Trader Joe's, that Trader Joe's has a pretty good pizza crust. No wonder they use a ladle. It actually really helps to like spread out all the sauce. Sauce. Sauce on pizza. Jacob, Jacob's here. Hello. Ooh, carbonara pizza. Yum. For those who don't know what carbonara is. Um, oh, hey, Darwin. Thank you, donation dance, donation dance with pizza. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, carbonara pizza. Carbonara is usually bacon or some form of um, like Italian prosciutto. You can use you can use all different any form of like ham or any derivative. You can absolutely use. Holy moly, DZ giveaways. Thank you! Donation dance, donation dance, donation dance with pizza! <laughs> Thank you so much! Chef Katie in the house, cannot wait to see the finished pizza. Love all your content, you're amazing. You're amazing! Thank you! Banana King, hello and SM down. What's up guys? Okay, we're making a pizza. I'm really excited. It's getting warm in here. Okay, because the oven's on. Here's my pizza. I've already put sauce on it. Here's my personal trick that I like to do. Um, first off, I need to slice some olives. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slice some olives, um, which is my favorite pizza topping. Salami, yes? Okay, so pizza topping, my favorite is olives. Thanks, Banana King. Asparagus on pizza. Ooh, chicken carbonara is tasty. I love carbonara. Carbonara is very good. My mom makes a good carbonara and there's a little bit of egg and like a creamy sauce, lots of cheese. Mmm. <laughs> Donation dance with pizza. Uh, first time I made a pizza? Um, <laughs> I made a pizza probably when I was like four with my mom. She used to, she used to always have pizza crusts for me or my friends and we would be decorating pizzas and we'd have pizza parties all the time. So, mushrooms. Oh my God, you love olives on pizza? Yes, Michelle, I knew we were, I knew we were destined to be friends. Uh, vegetarian pizza, um, chicken Alfredo pizza, yum, pepperoni. So I don't have any pepperoni, unfortunately. I did, but now I don't, it's all gone. Um, but I do have salami, so I'm gonna do half salami, which I'm gonna cut up because it's kind of in these like huge, huge um, slices from the deli. Um, and then I'm gonna also add green peppers because I love, I love black olives, pepperoni and green peppers. Like that's probably, that's only recently I started eating pizza with green peppers on it. But I really like it. I really like it. So I'm just cutting up some olives. <laughs> oh my God, Queen in Spain, I called it. You're so funny. Hey, what's up? Maximus Art, nice kitchen, thanks. Ooh, chocolate chip pizza. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Although I wouldn't make it with pizza dough. I would actually make cookie dough and then put that down and then you could do like a layer of like chocolate with candies on top. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, interesting. Traditional carbonara uses no cream. That's very interesting. That's just cheese, right? Ah, you like green peppers too? Yeah, it's so funny because I didn't used to eat um, green peppers on pizza ever. In fact, I, I would pick them off if they were ever on a pizza. Now, I'm like, they're good. I'm also getting to the point where I want like some jalapenos too. I don't have any jalapenos. And I don't think I've ordered a pizza with jalapenos, but spicy pizza just sounds really good right now. All right, so my own little secret and something that I like to do with my pizzas that I cook at home, I like to put all my toppings under the cheese. Cause sometimes I feel like when they're above the cheese, it's just, 
no, the cheese should be on top. And then it kind of like keeps everything together. <laughs> um, Kathy is saying mushrooms for me. Anchovy. Wow. Oh, if you want to keep the pizza to yourself. Hey, Zach is here. <laughs> Jared. Hey, Jared. Um, so yeah, uh, almost done. TV and film. Kid is leaving. Goodbye. Okay. Anyway, I'm putting the olives, which I have sliced up, down. Because, yeah, I don't know why. I've always done that ever since I was a kid. I would always put my ingredients on the pizza, and then I would put cheese on top. It just always seemed weird to me. Like, why would you not put the glue on top of everything, keep it all together? Or better yet, put cheese on the bottom and the top. But I like it on the bottom because otherwise I feel like all of the, um, all the toppings fall off all the time. I like putting cheese on top of the toppings too. Yay, Andy. See, I love black olives. So I'm putting black olives on half. And then I'm gonna cut up some cheese always on top. Yes, yes. Oh, you like red onions. Okay, interesting. We all kind of know how I feel about onions, but that's okay. <laughs> that's not how glue works, Katie. Yes, it is, Jared. You can't tell me how glue works. Glue works however I want it to work. <laughs> it's true though, the way I worded it makes absolutely no sense, but it's fine, it's fine, everything is fine. Baby Yoda, I have a Baby Yoda shirt. I should have worn it. I love Baby Yoda. All right, so now I have salami, which I got from the deli deli counter, and my dog instantly comes over here like, oh, is that salami for me? No, Lucky, it's not for you. Food is for humans. And I'm just kind of slicing it up because although it would be kind of fun to put this whole piece of salami on the pizza, you get more flavor if it's in every bite and it doesn't pull off the whole top and everything. Cheese under the cheese. Pineapples, okay, Dark Angel is saying, pineapples, onion, green peppers, black olives, and vegan meat and vegan cheese. That's a lot of things. That's crazy, but yeah, that sounds good. All right, putting down this salami now, which I just kind of cut up like, Honestly, like elementary school pepperonis, like little square chunks of salami. <laughs> oh, wow, Zima's saying you miss your McDonald's fix. See, of all the quarantine things, McDonald's is not something that I miss. But I do miss getting the option to go to a McDonald's. Uh, oh, hey, Omega Dragon, Disney Plus just launched in India? Congrats! I hope you get to watch Mandalorian. I hope you get to watch all the fun things that Disney Plus has. It's such a bummer though that they only give um, uh, some like limited episodes. Tomatoes on pizza, but there's tomato sauce on pizza. Why do you need tomatoes as well? Green beans, are you guys trolling me? Is this like an April Fool's joke? Green beans on pizza? That doesn't sound right. Ooh, barbecue chicken pizza. Mm -mm -mm. I do like that, but I wouldn't choose that over regular pizza. But if it's there, I would eat it. Because barbecue chicken pizza is delicious. It's barbecue sauce, yum. Papa John sounds good. Sometimes I just want pepperoni, other times I put other things with my pepperoni. Hey, Eclipse, welcome back. All right. You guys vote in the chat. Should Lucky get a piece of salami? Should she? Because she really wants one. She's staring at me, making me feel uncomfortable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do I feel about sandwiches? Dude, sandwiches are the best. Who doesn't like sandwiches? 
You're a monster if you don't like sandwiches. Eggplant on pizza. Ew. Ew. I don't like eggplant at all. You know, I used to think I wasn't that picky of an eater, but I think I'm very picky. But yeah, I don't like eggplant. Lucky gets salami. Yes, 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 yes. Lucky gets a piece. Yes. Okay. You guys are so kind to my dog. I'm sure she likes you all better than she likes me. Since I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to give her a piece of salami. But I'll make her do a trick for it. Come here. Come here. Sit. Come. Sit. Up, up. Good girl. <laughs> there you go. Now you saw Lucky. That's a Greek pizza. Oh, guys, there's actually this pizza that I get here in LA. It's at this place called uh, Gray Block Pizza. And they have salad pizza. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds weird. But um, it's a salad pizza. So it has lettuce. It's, so they basically bake the crust. And the crust already has cheese on it. There's no sauce. But they kind of bake the crust with... Um, a little bit of onions and cheese. And then once they pull it out of the oven, they put a cold salad on it. So then they'll put lettuce, uh, avocado, feta cheese, and then they like kind of like sprinkle some sort of like maybe balsamic on it or something. I don't know. It's so good. And it also has tomatoes and onions on it, but I get it without. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, Lucky is so cute. I know, she's so cute. Thanks, Ellis. Yeah, who isn't a Star Wars fan? I love Star Wars. All right, next up. This is an onions and peppers mix. It's a fajita mix that I found. And they're about to go bad, so I need to use them. So I'm just gonna put a couple. Um, actually, they've gone bad. Ah, bummer. I was so excited. I guess I'm not getting any peppers on my pizza. Man, that stinks. I guess I waited too long to eat them. Well, let's see. I don't think I have anything else to go on pizza though. Except for cheese, oh, of course. Let me check though, just in case. That's it. That is it. That's a bummer. I should do a joint gaming stream with the warp zone. That'd be fun. Um, oh, your cat loves green olives. I know dogs aren't supposed to eat olives, but I didn't know cats could. Um, hey, SM down. Uh, peanut butter pizza. Wow. All right. So I have done half black olive and half salami on the pizza. Hey, Nick, what's up? So I made this pizza dough and I've stretched it out on the pan. It's a big old square rectangle pizza. And yeah, half black olive, half salami. And now I'm gonna add cheese, yummy, yummy cheese. And I'm a cheater because I'm using pre, ugh, I can't even get it open, pre-shredded cheese. Now Lucky's back because she wants cheese. You're not getting cheese. Um, yeah, so this is a giant thing of mozzarella cheese, so. Your cat loves green olives too. How do you feel about peppers on pizza? I like peppers. I like peppers on pizza. I should go live on Instagram so we can chat. We are chatting. What are you talking about? This is, this is a chat. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Jack. Saying, great, now I'm going to have to get pizza. Curse you for making me want some. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, your cat eats mashed potatoes. Oh, bye, Jabril. No cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese does not belong on pizzas. I'm, unless you're making a Mexican pizza, then sure. But no cheddar on 
this kind of pizza at least. Just don't think that'd be good. Cheddar cheese on pizzas are made for Mexican pizzas and they're made for Lunchable pizzas. <laughs> I don't really like peanut butter. Wait, what? JRM is saying mayo on pizza? Ugh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Are we, are we now changing the topic to find the most gross things to put on pizza? I'm not skimping on the cheese, don't worry. You gotta get it in all the nooks and crannies so that so that we have cheese evenly distributed throughout the entire pizza. <laughs> cheese belongs on pizza. But not cheddar cheese. Yeah, Mandalorian is so good, I love it. Why is Chuck E. Cheese pizza so oily? I haven't eaten a Chuck E. Cheese pizza since I was like three, so I'm not the one to tell you why. I'm really sorry. Uh, yeah, Lunchables were the best. Lunchable pizzas were like my childhood. I used to want the Lunchable pizza and the Lunchable nachos. Those were the best. Those were so good. All right, I think I'm putting too much cheese now. Whoops. I just kept adding and adding and adding because I was distracted and talking. Ooh, jalapeno cheese pretzel? <gasps> did, you, did I see pretzel? Oh no, jalapeno cheese sometimes. When I go to Disneyland, I get jalapeno cheese pretzels there, or they're just jalapeno pretzels, but they're so good. So good. Oh yeah, Steve, I do know that, because it makes it easier to slice, right? Or great. What's my favorite thing you did for sci-fi? Um, probably San Diego Comic-Con two years ago. Favorite childhood food uh, snack that you missed? Dunkaroos, and they're coming back this summer. I love Dunkaroos. They're so good. All right, I have added my cheese to my pizza. I'll show you. It's a cheesy pizza. But I also am gonna add a little bit of Parmesan. It's cheapo canned Parmesan. <laughs> Just a little. It's a little sprinkling. It adds like a nice little, I don't know, it, it kind of browns the pizza a little bit more. Um, now I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, hang on. How long do I bake the pizza? That would be a good thing to know. 12 minutes. All right, I'm putting it in the oven. Pizza, are we ready? Let's do it. Oh wait, I'm supposed to put it on the bottom rack. Pull this off. Okay. Bottom rack. All right. Hey Siri, set a timer for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes and counting. All right, now we wait. Now we wait for the pizza to be done, which is exciting. Huh. Okay. Katie with the pizza hacks. Yeah, duh. Um, ooh, just get cake icing and Teddy Grahams, same thing. No, it's not. Dunkaroos are special. Oh, the chain TV. I miss Disneyland. Yeah, me too. I miss Disney. Hey, Walker City. Hi, I'm new. Hi, welcome. I am baking a pizza and just hanging out with everyone, talking nerdy things. So if you like nerdy things, you're in the right place. Yeah, tons of cheese. <laughs> is that a split oven? Uh, kind of, yeah. I guess so. It's an oven and then there's like a little, littler oven. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, pizza. Hi, Katie. Hi, Dylan. How are you? Why not funnel cake pizza? Ooh. Ooh. Yes, this pizza is made with so much hard work and love. I, what pizza am I making? So I made half black olive and half salami pizza. Yeah. Kieran saying he misses the cinema. Yeah. Me too. I miss seeing movies. Hey, Jason. What is up? I 
got cheese all over my phone. Um, Revenge of the Sith is 15 this year. Wow. Doritos on pizza? That's crazy. Sorry. My friend is texting me and making fun of me. Um, Eclipse saying, just starting onward. Yeah. Ben Taylor, thank you. Hello. Yeah, I miss I miss a lot actually. I miss I miss going out. I miss restaurants. I miss my friends. Oh, I miss movies. I miss movie premieres. I miss so many things. Oh, Jack, that's easy. Black olives. I love black olives on pizza, so. Well, unless I had to choose like sauce and do I get do those count? Like you did say topping. So have I ever had real New York pizza? Yes, I have many, 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 many times. I love New York pizza. <laughs> um, what's the craziest pizza I've ever seen? Uh, there's a pizza that they make here in LA that's like huge, like absolutely gigantic, but I don't think I've seen any like crazy, I'm trying to think, I don't know. Yeah. My favorite kind of pizza, Jason, is pepperoni, black olive, and green peppers, I think. I have to open this door. Hold on. It's very warm in here. What are my go-to YouTube channels? Oh, I don't watch a lot of YouTube, is that bad? I mean, I do actually, but I just don't feel like they're channels you guys would like. Have I ever had Chicago style pizza? Not in Chicago. I've been to Chicago, but I never had Chicago pizza. Yeah, I love, I do love New York pizza, but it's gotta have like, it's gotta be like soft and warm and delicious on the top but the bottom of the crust has to just have a little bit of crunch. That's the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, can I tell you what I've been doing all day today? In fact, I'll show you. Um, I will show you. Yes, the official cast recording of Prince of Egypt came out today and Ugh, guys, it's so good. It's so good. I, I, I'm obsessed with it. I've already listened to it like twice already, um, all the way through. And it just, it makes me so happy. Like I, that's one of my favorite movies growing up. And I remember, hey, Aaron's here. Um, I remember seeing Prince of Egypt in the movie theaters five times. And I was a little kid and I begged my mom to take me five times and she did love the movie. So yeah, they're, they're doing a, uh, a, a live stage version. Um, sorry. Hang on. Um, yeah, they're doing a live stage version in London. So the cast recording just came out today, which it's so good. So good. Um, yeah, I, I do watch a lot of YouTube, but I don't really watch YouTubers, I guess. Hey, Diego. Um, <laughs> I, I watch Jenna Marbles. I watch like her videos every week. Um, every, every new video. I also watch a lot of Brad Mondo. He does like reaction videos cause he's a hairdresser and they're really funny. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else I watch. Uh, I don't know. There's this one guy who does like movie stuff that's, he's really interesting, but can be a little too harsh and critical at times. But when he's not, I really like him. <laughs> cause sometimes I feel like people are critical just to be critical and not cause they have any, anything to really back them up. Do I watch Disney plus? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you always watch Prince of Egypt on Easter. 
It's so good. If you ever get to London and go see Prince of Egypt, I highly recommend visiting Prince Charles Cinema as well. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, Prince of Egypt was, is it, and still it means like so much to me. Um, and so I was just listening to that um, soundtrack and just being like, oh my gosh, oh, I wanted to cry through the whole thing. War Gamer Girl, hello, welcome. Making some pizza. Prince of Egypt was my favorite movie as a kid. Yes, if you have not seen Prince of Egypt, it's just such an incredible movie and the music is so good. So good. No, it's not Jeremy Johns. He's not a critic. He just makes really cool videos. I still haven't watched Parasite. No. Still haven't. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> so, uh, what have you guys been binge watching or watching? In general a lot of people are watching onward I haven't seen it yet but I'm excited to watch it I saw downhill and I watched Emma and what else what else uh, Jumanji Tiger King love is blind Schitt's Creek I'm watching a lot of stuff these days hi serenity um, I feel like I watched the movie as a kid, but I low-key forgot what it was about and buried it so deep in my memory. Oh no! It's so good! And the soundtrack is so good. Lucky, chill! My dog is just whiny McWinerson right now because she wants to go bark at the dog next door. Um, I haven't seen Onward. What is Onward? Onward's the new Disney Pixar movie. I still haven't seen it. Uh... Final season of Twin Peaks. Cool, I'm more excited for Soul, says Chad. Harley Quinn cartoon, says Piper. But again, I've been watching Chuck. Yes, I love Chuck, so good. Spartan, I'm with you on that one. It really isn't mine either. <laughs> it was, yeah, you know, but I appreciate you watching it. Um, ooh, Little Fires, that one looked interesting. Um, Dale Murph recommended that. Um, Jason saying you watched Captain Marvel. Uh, do I watch Sense8? No. I've heard of it though. I've heard of it. Would I let Jenna Marbles turn me into a mirror ball? I would let Jenna Marbles turn me into whatever she wanted to turn me into. Except I probably wouldn't want to go to Jenna's Ratchet Salon because I feel like I wouldn't come out um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I've seen Mythic Quest. I've seen it. Um, three different X-Men shows, Onward, Bad Boys for Life, and Arrested Development, says Dark Angel. Oh, Chernobyl was good. I really like Chernobyl. Hey, that's okay, GS, GS. Yeah, I don't know why I always want to say JS. GS. Um, Lucas, hey, welcome, welcome Lucas. Let's just give a quick shout out real quick because we've had some incredible support during this stream tonight. DZ giveaways, Darwin, Darwin Hev, Joe Hill, and Bruce have all supported the stream. Thank you so much, that really means a lot to me. Um, uh, have I played Hogwarts Mystery? No, not yet. I don't have time for another game, I just don't. Honestly, I'm, I'm playing so much Animal Crossing and Overwatch as it is, which I'm gonna play some Overwatch later tonight. Yeah, Overwatch. Westworld, yes. Love Westworld. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Onward. I'm waiting for it to come to Disney Plus first. I don't know, did it already? I don't know. Do I play Fortnite? No, no, I don't play Fortnite. Have I watched Community? Yeah, some of it. What is the worst pizza topping? Anchovies or clams. Ugh. Someone I know actually got clams on their pizza one time and I was like, that's really gross. It just sounds really gross. Um, when am I gonna watch Cats? That's right. 
I should watch cats. I should. I wish YouTube allowed watch alongs. Like I'll pay for it, you know? I wish that they would, um, I wish that they would at least allow you to like pay a one time like rate, like almost like you're going to the movies, but then let you watch a movie online with everyone and you could all watch it at the same time. War Gamer Girl, I saw you on Red Letter Media. They did an episode of Blumhouse. Yes, yes, I saw myself on there too, which is really cool. All right, um, hang on guys, because I gotta check this pizza. Um, because the alarm, the, the timer is off. Yay, I hope it's done. Oh, it's not good. All right, hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Would you eat broccoli as a topping? If I had to. <laughs> War Gamer Girl, that's awesome. That's so cool. I'm glad you saw me and you were like, oh my gosh. Vegeta said seafood just doesn't belong on pizza at all. And I agree. I agree. Um, yes, we need the Katie Wilson wine and cat stream. You mean grape juice? Grape juice. I don't drink wine. Never, never on a YouTube stream. It's grape juice. Um, oh, <laughs> Steve is saying, I think the mirror ball was part of the ratchet salon. Yeah, I can't go to Jenna's ratchet salon. She'll chop off all my hair <laughs> or shave my eyebrows off. No, I'd let her do my makeup or do my hair, but I wouldn't let her color it or cut it. <laughs> I love her. Honestly, that's like a dream collab. I just want to like hang out for like a few minutes with her and be like, hey, let's friend. Let's be friends. Um, have I ever seen Sideways? Yes, I have seen Sideways. I found it a little boring. Um, oh, the broccoli on pizza joke was from Inside Out. Sorry, I haven't seen Inside Out in a while. Um, <laughs> Dark Angel. Yes, yes, grape juice. My mistake. Yeah, it's okay. Easy to get confused. Jason, what time am I going to play Overwatch? Maybe around 7.30 or 8, maybe? Night Howler saying, your makeup stream yesterday was so great. Thanks! I appreciate everyone who tuned into my makeup stream yesterday because it's definitely a different type of stream for me. And I just really appreciated the support. It was really, really sweet. Um, <laughs> Katie's like, wine? What's that? It's not like I have a bottle or two or three in my cupboard right now. You don't know. It's all grape juice. Uh, Steve, Vegemite pizza. Ooh, gross. <laughs> Ew, haggis pizza, maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, pizza is an endangered species. Free the pizza. Did I watch Frozen 2? Yes. I love Frozen 2. It's so good. I might even like it more than Frozen 1. I might like it more than Frozen 1. The music is so good, and I just want to go around singing it. Ugh, I love it. Back Fandango says, Despino was a really fun guest. Thank you, yeah. I, uh, I'm really sorry her audio was so low. I don't, I didn't know why, but oh well. Yay, I'm glad you guys liked it. You're so sweet. You would hate broccoli on your pizza. I wouldn't choose it, but if it were like broccoli on pizza or death, I mean, broccoli on pizza. Because no one said you had to eat it together. You could always pull the broccoli off. But some people like broccoli and cheese things together. So I feel like that's what it would taste like. All right. We're getting there. It's not brown yet. I'm waiting for it to get like a little bit more brown on top and a little crispier. Um, you blessed my Insta feed yesterday with your makeup look. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is he saying, have I watched The Witcher? Yes, The Witcher, so good. I'm already like rewatching it for like the third time. I freaking love The Witcher. If you haven't seen that, you need to watch The Witcher. So good. <laughs> Frozen or Tangled? Frozen has better music. Probably Frozen. I like Flynn Rider more than I like Kristoff. So. Frozen. I'm going with Frozen. Um, but I love Tangled. So cute. Okay. Um, 
Oh, Lucky wouldn't be allowed to hang out with Jenna Marbles' dogs because Lucky's not nice. Lucky doesn't play well with others. Yeah, she's not allowed to have friends. Unless they're human friends, then she can have all the human friends she wants. Um... Uh, oh, I was curious who you were talking about. Emma from the gift, from Gifted. I, oh God, I'm sorry. I interview a lot of people. I don't remember our specific interview, but everyone on the couch was nice. Hey, thanks Raffi, Raffi, Raffi Ninja. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here. Um, Gator fan. My favorite movie that came out in the last calendar year, Ready or Not. So good, I love that movie. So good. Do I like Starbucks? Yes, love Starbucks. JRM is saying, my dog doesn't either. Yeah, Lucky's not allowed to have friends, right Lucky? You're a one dog household. She's a one dog household. <laughs> Wait, what? They're making a chicken run too? That's hilarious. That's really funny. Bravest Warriors. I've seen that. Hang on. Gotta check pizza. We're getting so close. So close. Like maybe one more minute. Yeah. Thor 2022. We have to wait so long. <laughs> uh, is there anyone here who hasn't seen Frozen 2? Because there's a moment I really want to talk about, but it is a spoiler, so. Well, it's not that big of a spoiler. I don't know. Let, just write in the comments if you don't want me to say it. Have I seen Dr. Doolittle movies? I've seen the ones with Eddie Murphy. Um, oh, bye, Walker. Thanks for being here. Do my friends watch my videos? Probably not. Oops, sorry. I just shook the whole camera. Probably not. No. <laughs> I don't think so. My friends are probably just like, yeah, no, eh, no. I think a lot of my friends watched my video yesterday because they all know Despina, but. Oh my gosh, Michelle, Panda. I wanted Panda for lunch today and then I forgot to eat lunch. And I'm really, I'm really sad about it. Frankie. Alex, hi, welcome. I'm Patton. I haven't, but go ahead. I don't care about spoilers. So. Okay, go ahead. I haven't seen the Frozen movies. Go ahead and spoil. You guys are so funny. Okay, it's not really a spoiler, but I appreciate you guys just, I just wanted to check in because what's going on? What's going on? Because I don't like spoilers. Um, but anyway, there's a moment in Frozen 2, which if you've seen it, you'll understand. But basically Olaf recaps the whole movie, the whole first movie, and it's the best part of the entire movie and I laugh every single time for like 10 minutes about it because it's so funny. Hold on, my dog wants to go outside. She's being super annoying. Be right back. Lucky, you're so annoying. What are you doing? Sit. I swear, all she wants to do is just go outside and bark at dogs. Um, oh, do I remember when I went to Blizzard to play Overwatch? Yeah, of course. How could I forget that? That was awesome. That was so much fun. I'll tell you one YouTube critic who hated Frozen 2. Nostalgia critic? Really? I mean, like I said, some people are overly harsh and critical. <laughs> oh God, it was so funny. Olaf is the best, and that was the best part of the movie. So I'm glad you know what I was referring to. Um, oh, pizza. Guys, don't let me forget about the pizza. I think it's done now. I have to pull it out of here. Hang on. Oh. It looks yummy. Ooh, pizza. Ooh, it's hot. I couldn't hold it for very long because it was hot. <laughs> um, I thought you were going to go walk Lucky and ruin the pizza. Nope. <laughs> Just open the door for her 
to go bark at dogs. Um, yeah, Olaf at the end is hilarious too. Samantha? <laughs> All right. Um, could Spartan and or Night Howler take a screen cap of me holding up my pizza so that I can make it my thumbnail later? Yay! And hopefully not burn myself while I hold it. All right. Oh, wait. And go! <laughs> Yay! See, I'd rather have a thumbnail like that than have to like make one later that's like fake pizza and my face. It's like, should be my pizza. So I'm gonna let it cool for just a second and then I'm gonna slice it. Yay! Ooh, I have all the rest of my olives. How many movies have I watched in my life? Um, or you mean quarantine? I've only watched the ones that I told you. Frozen, Downhill, Emma, Jumanji. What's it called? Zombieland. I watched that. Aw, Andy, thank you. <laughs> Pierre, you make us pizza? Oh, I wish. Hey, Vera, Vera. Hello. That's a big pizza. Yes. And it was good. Um, <laughs> I did make a pizza. It's behind me. It's cooling just a little bit. It's cooling so that, um, so that you can cut it a little bit more easy when it's uh, cooled. Not like completely cooled. Obviously we want hot pizza, but you know what I mean? Cooled down a little bit to be able to slice it. Which, which reminds me, I didn't like Zombieland 2 either. I didn't like it. It wasn't funny like the first one was. I didn't like it. Yeah. All right, so everyone's saying that I have to sing the Ninja Turtles theme song as I slice the pizza. <laughs> Is that a rule? I mean, because I will. Not, not a problem. What's my favorite dog breed? I don't have one. I love all dogs. Uh, Zombieland 2 wasn't great, but Bill Murray was great. Yeah. How old is my dog? She's seven. <laughs> Serenity, hi. You keep saying hi. Do you keep leaving and coming back? I'm very confused because I just keep seeing you say hi. All right. Um, let me find my pizza cutter. Hopefully it's clean. Well, maybe it's in the dishwasher. Um, oh, there it is. Aha. Success. It's clean. All right. Now I got to get this pizza. Hey, what's up? Beatez. Hello. It's nice to see some new faces here. Guys, please subscribe. I make lots of random videos. They're not random, but right now my videos are a little bit more random, but I do a lot of geeky things and talk a lot about movies and video games and TV shows and I really love medieval fantasy things so if you like swords and dragons and spaceships you should subscribe to me just for those three things. <laughs> All right. Pizza. P -I -Z -Z -A. All right so we're gonna cut the pizza although I need a plate to put the pizza Ugh, so many things. I'm just gonna cut myself like a little piece for now. <laughs> hey, Andy. Hey, you made pizza too? All right. Best part about making your own pizza. I hope it's cooked enough. Uh, I think so. Probably could have cooked it a tad longer, but it got brown on top. Using my pizza cutter. Star Wars or Star Trek? Uh, Star Wars, I guess. I like Star Trek though. I used to watch the Star Trek movies back in the day with my dad. 
the originals, like, obviously. Ah! Pizza! Okay, I just cut like a tiny little corner of a pizza. It's so hot, but we have to try it. Hey, what's up? Guide, 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 guide. <laughs> Why is it so hard to say? Um, I want this pizza to calm, to cool down. My dog is running around the backyard like someone's chasing her, but no one's chasing her except for her tail. Pizza party! What type of books do I read? Um, well, right now, oh, I love medieval fantasy books. So anything that's about knights and dragons and warriors, like I love it. Like I read all the Game of Thrones books and I'm working on reading The Witcher now, which I'm really excited about. This is gonna be scalding hot. Oh, I didn't sing Ninja Turtles. Oh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. There you go. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Aaron. I forgot. I, I don't want this to burn me. I think it'll be okay. I'm excited. I hope the crust turned out okay. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. It's so good. It tastes so good. I'm so proud of myself. It is really hot. So I should probably let it just sit there for like 10, 10 minutes. Do I play old computer games? Yeah, it depends what which ones. That was really awesome. Yum. Okay, hold on. I need to get this out of my way because this pan is really hot and I already burned myself on it. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, now I have a whole like big old pizza. It's really good. I honestly like it because this crust is fun because you can kind of make it as thick or as thin as you want, just depending on however you make it. Like you could just make it smaller and thicker or you can spread it out like how I did and make a huge thin pizza. It's awesome because it's super thin. The bottom is crunchy. Like the bottom is like perfectly cooked and crunchy. The top, the cheese got all golden brown. And I love that. It's like doughy enough, but also crunchy enough. Really good. Really, really good. <laughs> Andy's saying I'm working out as I watch this. Sorry, you're gonna go get <laughs> lava hot food is no good. <laughs> um, yeah, you're gonna go get pizza after this, so. So, um, there you go. I made pizza. Yay, I did it. So, mission accomplished is right. And I really appreciate you guys being here. Sorry my stream was so late today. Um, tomorrow I can't decide if I wanna do a tarantula island in Am Animal Crossing or a cooking stream or Smash Brothers or Mario Kart. I think I'm gonna do, I don't know, but then a Tarantula Island, I'd be making a video later tonight, like I'd be making it at night to be able to build a Tarantula Island, which would be a fun stream. We'll see. We'll figure out what tomorrow's is gonna be because I haven't decided yet. <laughs> um, no, it's not just plain cheese. Underneath I have black olives because I put all my toppings under the cheese. So yeah, you can't really see it, but there are black olives in here. Um, yeah, it turned out awesome. I'm really excited. Um, I wish I could share a slice of pizza with all of you guys because I really appreciate you being here, especially DZ Giveaways, Darwin Hev, Joe Hill, and Bruce. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, your support definitely has been very helpful for me in this time, and I, I'm very grateful. Thank you. Yay! Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> You're saying Mario Kart? Cooking stream. Okay, you guys like my cooking streams. Interesting. Um, Mario Kart would be awesome. <laughs> oh, good. The stream was perfect time for you. Good. Yeah, I know. A lot of times when I stream around noon, people miss it. Or I mean, people like overseas, like um, in Europe, miss it. So anyway. Oh, ooh, make mac and cheese. I don't have the ingredients. 
And I don't think I'm going to the store. We'll see. Play Overwatch. I'm going to play Overwatch tonight. Not on a stream, but I'm going to just play on Xbox. So add me. Uh, my Xbox gamer tag is Khaleesi, but the L is a one. So definitely add me on Xbox and come play. We have a really good, we have a really great um, group of people who play. So, hey, thanks. Thanks, Katie's fan. <laughs> um, yeah, did I play Smash Brothers yet? Yeah, I did play Smash uh, last week or this week, this past week. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see, okay? You guys want me to make all these crazy things? I don't have the ingredients. I can't go to the store. Uh, it's difficult. You gotta make what you have, you know? Actually, no, tomorrow night I can't do a stream. So I'm gonna have to stream something during the day tomorrow. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for being there for me. Every single stream you guys watch, and then you even come back and you watch them again later, which is super amazing of you. And I really appreciate those of you who come back to this stream a couple hours later, leave a nice comment. And um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you all have a really great night. It's Friday night, try to do something fun. Even though we're all trapped inside, try to, you know, cook something, bake something, eat a snack that makes you happy, do something fun, watch a movie. Um, but I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. And good night. Yay! Thanks for thanks for making pizza with me. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. You're so sweet. My dog's barking. See, she's barking now. Bye, guys. <laughs>